grunt suits, designed to be slotted in the hundreds. They're designed to be more militaristic and devoid of personality, so the kids watching won't get emotionally attached to them. It's all well and good, but a large chunk of grunt suits just don't look appealing. Which is why the only ones I had were Zaku's and its variants. Until now. Introducing High Grade Zwart Heavy from Gundam The Witch from Mercury. If it's not already obvious, the design of all suits made by the Pale Corporation, or Tarunata, had done work in the Armor Core series. Which is why this guy and the Farrick, I think that's how you pronounce it, look similar to mechs found in the AC franchise. It's great for me as those designs are awesome. Another interesting thing is that their limbs are similar in design. Look at the hands right here, they're very skinny, their hands are basically the same thing. Actually, no, they are the same pieces. Joints look similar, or they're the same. They're, they're actually, yeah, okay, so this part here is the same, but this part here is different. Because they wanted the beam sabers to be hidden away, I guess. Farrakh has some, the Farrakh shares parts with their regular infantry units, it's basically an infantry unit, same with the legs, you can see right over there. It shows you, the viewer, that both these mechas came from the same company. It's a great detail and makes sense in universe. It's what a lot of modern day car companies do in real life as well. Also, if I'm remembering correctly, the last time we had a Gundam anime with more than two factions with their own unique looking mechas was Double O. Neat, if my information is correct, which is just memories at this point then, so it could probably be wrong. Now, getting back to this suit variant in particular, if we compare it side by side with the version used in duels in the school, it obviously lacks the horn. but. It's also bulkier, probably because you want more armor within an actual battle. Even the head, if you look from the side profile, is actually tucked into the chest itself, giving it better armor protection and, well, from the side at least, giving it a lower profile. The larger head probably helps with, with uh, protection as well. It also makes it look like a helmet. That, combined with the military green, really hammers in the idea of a soldier in giant robot form. Of course, a soldier needs to be armed, so he has this beam rifle here, which may or may not be a ballpark. To attach it is actually quite interesting. Just open it up, and just slide it in, and there we go. So fair warning, this is really loose. It, it's tight enough, it doesn't drop off, but when I just you know, do that, like a simple movement of just touching here, it just comes off. Uh, I thought it was a good to know, good to note. But of course, this is called the Zwart Heavy, and it needs an appropriate amount of armament to live up to the name. And so, missile pods right over here, and this beam cannon, which I think is a beam cannon, allows this mobile suit to dish out suppressing artillery fire, making sure the enemy won't get close, because apparently Pale Corporation advises its pilots against close combat. Interesting. However, that doesn't necessarily mean it has a lack of CQC options, because, as I already mentioned, beam sabers attached at the back of the arms allows for a quicker transition from the gun to the blade. Oh, and uh, before I forget, you can actually switch this mag out right here. Or this one right here. Now, I know what you're saying. Mate, it doesn't look different at all. Well, it's actually thicker. Reason being is because this magazine right here on the gun is actually detachable. Then you can put it in right here. And then nice. Although I think it sticks out a bit too much, so I would just go with the default option. Looks nicer that way. And finally, possibility. It has almost the same amount of articulation as the Choisette, 
right here. You can only see the legs, but yeah. But with less outward arm and leg movements. It is still quite good, but compared to the Angel Demon robot, it's worse off. Also, if you just try and pull up it too much, it will plug up. So, be one for that. Although it does have a toe bend. Neat. So, with that, I'm gonna say my closing thoughts. And I consider this the best grunt suit. It's in the title. But in the title also states that it's my opinion. Everyone has their favorites, so there is no right and wrong. Still, this Gunpla kit is just great. Its build was uncomplicated and stressless, it's fun to play with, looks good standing around or in action poses, and is a great newer Gunpla for people who want something a military power could have in real life. Emphasis on could though, I'm not sure it will be, I'm not sure it will look exactly like this. Plus, it can sort of satisfy your thirst for armored core mecha model kits. The copious amount of Zord customs is a big teller. And as it's a high grade kit, inexpensive. May vary from country to country. So with that, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.